Bananas. Um, I always say I'm not going to try and then go out and absolutely beast myself. And uh, yeah, I, so I'm probably pretty goal driven, but also for me, the same with, with cycling, with mountain biking, with with running, with walking, anything that I do, it's it's a way of clearing my head. Um, you know, you work in a stressful job, lives are stressful these days, and I think it's good to have something where you can have a release. So for me, it's definitely got a mental benefit as well as, as physical. Uh, I'm Rich Ford, and I'm the content producer at ProDirect Running, and I'm gonna be taking on Infinite Trails this weekend in Austria. This is prologue day, um, first day of the event's officially open, so we're wandering over now um, to get signed on, check out the House of Terex Expo, uh, and just yeah, get a feel for the event really, and then get ourselves ready for the prologue later. It's 10am um, and it's already scorching hot, which is a bit of a worry. Um, but yeah, now feeling good, let's uh, see what the House of Terex has got in store for us. Hi, I'm Jordan, I'm from South London and I'm head coach of PMG Coaching. When I first got asked, obviously the first thing I did was looked on the website and thought, holy crap, that looks, <laughs> that looks pretty intense, but yeah, why not? Um, I'm quite a yes person and quite impulsive as well, so I think when these challenges come up, um, yeah, you've just got to say yes sometimes and step outside your comfort zone. We are about to sign on. That's it. Register, no going back. Okay. Those are your forms. You can fill them out on one of the tables in the middle and then go to the left counter. And then you can get the whole And as soon as you've got your number and you know that's what you're going to be pinning to your single or your T, that's when it's like, yeah, now it's good. Now it feels real. Literally got all the gear, no idea. No. I think now my first reaction was always yes. Uh, say yes to everything and then deal with the logistics, the lack of experience, everything else afterwards. And, and yeah, so first reaction was like, whoa, uh, it's like, yeah, for real. Hey, uh, name's Sam, uh, part of Adidas Runners Community, Advent Running Community, and just general London running community. What are we doing? Uh, I am uh, just about to take on the prologue with those guys. 15k, it's about 900 vertical meters of ascent. Uh, it's a mass start, so it's everyone just goes off together. Some people are running it as individuals as a, as a kind of standalone race. Um, the plan is to basically run it and see what happens. Win it, yeah. Oh yeah, we're going to win it. Basically, where you finish the terms, you start time for Saturday. So. Um, you want to do it as fast as you can, but equally we're trying to save ourselves a little bit for the race itself. It's a hot, it's still hot. Um, they are saying there might be some thunder, but we'll see. Just excited to get going. Racing individually is important for us, but racing in a relay, racing as a team is something special. And so we thought about bringing an individual sport, which is trail running definitely is, uh, and make it a relay format, make it a team format, bring the community together and let the community race together as a relay. So we wanted to um, give trail runners from all niches of the sport a home at Adidas Terex and at Adidas Infinite Trails. And this is how we created these loops. Um, if you, for example, take the prologue, you can also do the prologue as an individual race. It's a super low hurdle 
to start your career as a trail runner. If you are confident to do a half marathon, a 10K on the road, you can easily go into Infinite Trails, just do the prologue race, which is a 15 kilometer race. Steeper, we're flattening out. It's steeper, it's really high. Amazing place though. It's so good. The climb was killer all through the trees. You had to, it's a bit of a queue with 600 people on the course, but you hit the down, it's just. Go on, Jordan! Woo! Uh, it's good. It's really, really good. It's a nice taster for Saturday. Yeah. Steep and, and like hard climb, and then a really fast down. And uh, just felt awesome. Nice to open up the legs and uh, see what it's all about. And it wasn't as hot as we thought it would be, so that's good. Yeah, I look forward to Saturday now. We smashed it under two hours, so that was the aim. And uh, yeah, happy, aren't we? We're happy. Good times. I think the idea of infinite trails and sharing the, the race with a team of people and making racing not about the individual is fantastic. Um, I think it's a great concept and also to get to run alongside some of like the world's best trail runners. I think that's a, a really nice experience and something that you don't get to do very often. I think community is uh, close to the heart of all the trail runners. This is what makes a sport special. and. Uh, even the, the most top elite athletes, they still feel themselves as a part of the trail running community. And this is what you see today in this day in between the prologue and the main race, we bring the community here together. And our top athletes love to hang out with the everyday person uh, as much as the everyday person loves it to hang out with the top elites. And there is no difference. It's one community and this is what we want to bring to life here. We want to celebrate this community. We want to give the community a home to meet, to interact um, and also to interact with us as a brand that we also show them we are also humans. So we are just on our way to the race briefing. Um, we've had a pretty chill day recovering from last night's prologue. Um, after this, we get our race bibs and then ready to go. One promise, I keep it short. Um, welcome, welcome to Adidas Infinite Trails from Adidas Terex, from Adidas Outdoor. It's a pleasure to see the Kursaal being completely filled for the second time now. And um, I'm super happy to see you all here. And uh, it's important for me to have you all back in the Alpen Arena tomorrow after you finish Loop 4 all together and this is where we'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Who are you doing? What are you doing? Getting our bib numbers. Is it? Had the briefing. Is it? Yeah, bib numbers. 139, that's us. Over the last few years, like some of my closest friends now are people that I've met through running. Um, the social side of it and getting to see amazing places. So over the last year alone, I've been to Austria, uh, Switzerland, Berlin, all because of running and places that I wouldn't have seen if I didn't run. I think running is so popular because it is so accessible. Um, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. People do, as you get more into it, people spend more money on, on different products and stuff but when you're first getting into it all you really need is a pair of shoes and some shorts or whatever and it's really easy to get out there. I think people run at all different paces, different distances. Um, it's a challenge that I think people are finding attainable. Um, I think that's important these days to be able to go out and do something that you actually know that you can achieve. It's a, cha it's a challenge but you know that, that you're going to be able to achieve it and you feel good about yourself. Thank you.
Oh, yeah, I'm all right. So, so excited. It's like, it's like mad that there's so many people out this time. I think I might have come a bit early, but it's so cool to be here. Seeing all of this. Three, two, one. Okay, I have just passed the first water station in my race, an hour, bang on pretty much, just over 5k, which is on just around 6k. I'm about just under halfway up the climb, so about a thousand meters to go. It's not much, is it? On the ridge, we're like, I don't know, about eight, nine K in. Getting very close to the top of the hill now. Welcome to the top of Europe's highest grass mountain. We've done the climb, and now we start running down. 15 kilometers of downhill coming up. Crazy, crazy race. like a mile out. They keep telling us it's all downhill, but it doesn't look like a downhill to me. Look after yourself. Yes, Richard. They put an extra mile in it. <laughs> and we just love running. Oh my god. It's blooming crazy. It's only 25k, it's mad, but it's so beautiful up there. It makes you think about so much stuff. I fell over in the woods as well on the way down. Crazy. Oh. Yeah, it's been a nice easy start actually. It's just been nice roads like this all along the ridge of the mountain. Um, but the fun's gonna start at about 10k when I've got my first big climb. So uh, yeah, trying to pace myself a little bit. See you guys in a bit. See you at the top. Yeah, I'm like risking my 
enough doing this. Uh, I just been told it was like 10 minutes from the top of the first mountain. Uh, yeah, so this is my view right now. Our loop number two will definitely challenge you because it's technical, it's long uphills, it's long downhills, it's during the midst of the day which will see super hot temperatures tomorrow, so it will really even be a challenge for the strongest athletes of the world. The last day that was actually rock climbing, um, yeah, I think, I don't even know how long it took me. Keep up the good work, Jordan! I think just the sense of achievement. So 60k, it's a, it's a long way, it's an ultra marathon. And that's tough anyway, without it being that you've got to climb two mountains during that as well. Um, so yeah, I think I'll just be pretty proud of myself if I manage to do it. And obviously then proud of the whole team, because between us we're going to be covering 130 kilometres, near enough. Um, so that's not a bad effort. Back again with us here at Dark Hobbitter, Bernhard Steiner, the yeah. Bike of Gaia aus Österreich. And I've got to go in, go in, down, 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 little uphill, up again, and again, and again, down. Easy. So I used to do a lot of obstacle racing, so when I first um, got into running I used to do a lot of obstacle racing back in 2015, 2016, which is mainly on trail, um, but since then, and I was focusing on marathons, I've sort of been stuck on the road, but I do love trail running and every time I do it, I think I need to do this more because you don't worry about pace, you don't worry about really how far you're going, it doesn't matter if I stop and walk, it's just more enjoyable. mountain summit um yeah i'll be honest um i'm struggling quite a lot yeah just don't want to take like so long and i feel a bit bad for some like he's been waiting ages for me but i've got to just keep chipping away <laughs> A little bit. I just, I thought it was going to get cooler at the top and it, it didn't at all, at all. Maybe a little bit breezier, but no, it was, it was quite weird running through snow and yeah. it being boiling hot. Um, <sighs> yeah, and no shade on the course whatsoever. Um, I was just saying that probably between miles 21 and 26, 27, because I wasn't walking, no, because I wasn't running, because I was just, felt empty and just too hot. Yeah. It just went on for ages. And it's actually quite lonely out there. Um, it's very spread out. There's like marshals dotted around, but I think, yeah, I'm glad you guys were here. It was nice to see some friendly faces. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. 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 So, we are looking for a Great Britain team. This is a pro direct running. And we are welcoming Jordan Foster! We are the athletes of the Adidas Infinite World World Championships 2019. Oh my god, shit! What? <laughs> okay, And now... The good news is, we have reached the point of the Now I'm scared. Do you want to hear 
funny story. I uh, just went into the women's bathrooms. I didn't realise. I thought they were unisex. <laughs> now, I'm so happy. The sun's so shining. Right, but now it's just like. Now I've got that sick feeling that I didn't have yesterday when you asked, so you're nervous. It's just you don't want to like. It's like Rich and Jordan have done awesome. You just don't want to like let anyone down. And, like you start thinking, oh, I should have done. Like I shouldn't. Have as much as I loved being out all morning and seeing everyone, I should have all by myself a little bit more instead of trying to please everyone. Have you done a lot of trail running in the past? <laughs> uh, if Ham said he counts, uh, run on grass and run on bits of bark and watch YouTube videos. Uh, but trail running experience is a zero, uh, which makes it even more exciting and scary in equal measure. A big shout out to Jordan Foster's Great Britain, handing over to Surin Matur, teammate in Pro Direct Running. including runner number one, of course, Richard Ford, Jordan Foster, now on track, Sabrin Matu. So it's uh, 12 and a half kilometers from here, approximately. That is so good. Yeah, we'll see. The whole time I thought 60k was 36 miles. And it wasn't, well, 37, currently, but then I did nearly 38, so when I kept saying, like, oh, maybe, like, a couple of miles away, I was further away than I thought. Done it. Done it. It's going to be suspense. Killed it. About 5k in. I just passed the first, first water station. Uh, so far it's taken me, like, 53 minutes, I think. I've never seen one person on the trail at the moment. Hey, how are you? Uh, this guy literally saved me. Yeah. No go. Both ways. We save each other. <laughs> Almost there. It's super cool. I think running people sometimes see as an individual sport, even though there's so much goes on behind the scenes. Whereas this format, then the fact that you're going to be tracking your teammates and waiting for them to come in, and and just that sense of responsibility of. Uh, wanting to give 100%, uh, and I like the idea of running the last, uh, the last little bit as a team as well. And, and it's just that again, it's like the community, the the element of helping each other and encouraging each other, and and yeah, it's, uh, it's super interesting. Never done anything like it before. So, so we are now at 25 past 12. Been up for. 20, nearly 23 hours. Just waiting for some to come in. He's had a bit of a hard time, I think, on the end of his lap. So, we're a little bit behind schedule now, but he's, I think he's like less than half a mile away. As soon as he comes in, we've got to do our victory lap. And, uh, and then we're done, finished. Infinite Trails is done. Uh, it's been amazing, but I think we're all ready for it to go to bed. Well, like, left about 15 minutes to the car. This is like getting really close now, but he's so, he's like 0.1 of a mile away. Ah, it's an agony.
just going to take a while for it to sink in. Like the dog was so sketchy. Uh, it's super nice, but there were times I like, used to think like it got really mushy, so you almost lost the shoe, and then it was steep when it got crappy. Uh, the sunset of the climb was amazing. Uh, like, not even what a date, like, what a trip. The atmosphere in the finish, just everybody's just buzzing, like all the runners, all the crowd, everybody just like amped up, really happy to have done it and yeah, it was a good feeling.